Yes, I mean, we definitely want to try to shrink down the eating down. If we can get it to one or two meals a day, wonderful. The, 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 the eating window, try to make it as small as we can. You know, yeah. so eating that breakfast as late in the day as I can. And right. eat my dinner as early in the day as I can, so that I'm right. eating in as small a window as possible. Yeah. That's what I'm encouraging people to do with my seven day detox is, you know, try to eat in as small a window as you can and try to choose as much as you can live raw foods. Yeah. Or juices or, you know, or smoothies or a soup, some things, we, we want to reduce the, the solid foods as much as we can. We want to reduce yeah. the heaviest foods. And the heaviest yeah. foods are your proteins and your fats. These are the right. most dense foods. So we, we, we want to try to reduce the most dense foods as much as we can. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. shift towards the more high energy foods, the foods that are alive, the foods that contain the enzymes, the foods that have the most vitamins and minerals. Those are your fruits and your vegetables. Yep. Those are the foods that still have that energy, that life force energy in it. Of course. Right, because, because the life force energy comes from our sun. Uh-huh. And, and that energy, you know, comes to the earth in the form of light. And, you know, it, it's transformed by the trees, by the leaves, by the greenery. It's transformed through photosynthesis. The light of the sun is transformed into glucose energy for the human. It's done through the process of photosynthesis in the leaves of the plants, of yeah. the grasses, of, yeah. the, uh, of, of the trees, you know, fruits and vegetables grow from the light of the sun. So they trap the, the energy of our sun. They trap it in fruits and vegetables. And when we eat the live foods, foods the live fruits and vegetables, we're eating the sun. <laughs> right yeah. we need we need yeah. sunlight that's what we need we need the light of our sun we need to be in nature we need to be in the light of the sun we need to be in nature we need to touch the ground with our feet if we can we need to ground ourselves all of these things help to put energy invigorate the body and these things help the body to heal. And when I speak about healing, I'm talking about naturally healing the body by interrupting the disease mechanism, which is, you know, inflammation. All disease, all sickness, all illness, all pain in the body, all problems, anxiety, depression, insomnia, mood problems, all of the emotional stuff that we've got at the root is an inflammation inside of the body. We need to interrupt that inflammation process. The light of the sun will do that. Grounding on the earth will do that. Fasting, staying empty will allow that inflammation to leave the body. So we want to stay empty daily. With the seven-day detox, I'm encouraging people to fast 14 to 16 hours a day. Make it a daily practice. If you can go 18 or 20 hours, awesome. But that happens by you practicing. It's yeah. through practice that this improves. We have to have a daily practice. What are you practicing? Right? We're a product of the things that we think, say, and do. Most often, that's how we create our life. That's the same way that we're going to change it. Right. Right, exactly. You know, the, the human being is a physical, 
mental, and emotional being. It's, it's all three. And, and if you leave out a bit of it, then you can't heal it, the human being. Yeah, it has to be ho wholly connected. It's holistic. Everything. The human being is a holistic being. You have to have on a whole, you have to take a holistic approach to make the human being come back to wellness. And he, he and or she can come back to wellness. You can restore any issue inside of your body. Health can be restored. We're not too old. How old are you, Ayala? Uh, um, I'm actually 54. Wow, see? Beautiful, I'm coming up on 50, right? Uh, it's, it's not it's uh, the age. It's, the number doesn't really matter. It's not about the number. Yeah. It's about the toxicity in the body. The body is not aging. The body is becoming ill because of acids. It's becoming acidic. The body's becoming acidic. And the biggest problems are the foods that contribute most to the acids in the body. The foods, the drugs, the substances, the chemicals, the medications. If we're using medication, high blood pressure medication, for instance, any kind of medications, antibiotics, any kind of medications that we're using on a daily basis, we're putting chemicals into the body. Now, the body's not deficient in any chemicals. The body doesn't need chemicals. Natural healing means restoring the natural balance, which means getting the chemicals and the acids and the substances and the foreign bodies and materials out of the body. Yeah. We have to change the body by detoxifying the body or purifying the body to bring it back to its natural state. The natural state of the body doesn't, the natural body is not eating, drinking coffee multiple times a day. The natural body is not using alcohol daily. No. The natural body is not using medications, chemicals, drugs. The natural body is not eating cooked and processed foods. And if you've been doing that for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, then there's going to be some toxicity inside of your body. And that's what's causing the acidity. And that's what's causing you to demonstrate signs and signals, symptoms of sickness, illness, or disease. It's not that you're getting old. The reason why you have pain or weight gain is because you're getting toxic. Now, you can restore your, your healthy body, natural body, by detoxifying your body. Right, right, right. You can detoxify the body by changing your habits and behaviors, fasting daily, refeeding with high energy foods, trying to stay empty as long as you can every single day. So eating in as small a window as possible and choosing live raw foods most often because they still contain the energy, the vibration and the right. life of our sun. They still have oxygen in them. Wow. Oxygen is a huge part of this. That's the, the link to the exercise. Like an oxygenated body is alkaline. So we need oxygen. We've got to breathe. We've got to watch and connect with the breath. This is exercise. This is move. Yeah. This is yeah. out into nature. This is going for a walk or going for a hike or doing some qigong or some yoga or having a workout. Something that stimulates the body to breathe. Something that picks up the energy and vigor inside of the body. Right. Of course. Yep. We, we are ner a, a being of nerves. Uh, we send a signal from our brain to tell the body to move. That signal picks up the energy of the body. It makes the body move. The signal, the thought to move my body 
to do a workout, to go for a walk, to get out into nature, sending that signal to my body, making the time, making a commitment to it, following through with it. It's a decision. It's a choice. It's a commitment. Yeah, of course. It's, it's being responsible. It's taking responsibility for it. Yeah. It's responsibility for your health. It's choosing what actions you're going to do physically. You know, for me, I, my clients can tune in for workouts with me four times a week. You know, you can tune in and exercise with me in my gym online. Or, you know, my clients can come into my private studio. They can exercise with me that way. So they're getting their exercise, the physical strengthening. Then there's the nutrition. That's the other physical bit. Changing your nutrition to high energy foods, to live foods, yeah. and incorporating the yeah. fasting. I call it unfooding. So I call unfooding um, fasting and refeeding my body with high energy foods, with live foods, with raw, with raw yeah. foods, fruits and vegetables, or raw juices. Those are the best. You could also use pasteurized juices. You could do water fasting. You could do dry fasting. These are higher level fasts. But you got to build it up. It's a practice. It's, it's a daily practice. So you start off with the minimal commitment. And as you practice it, and you get better at it, then you make a little bit bigger commitment. You may go to the water fast. You may go to the dry fast. You may go for a longer fast. You may go for 36 hours or 48 hours or 72 hours yeah. empty. Empty and dry yeah. if you want. But you've got to build it up. What you practice, you'll get better at. If you practice eating cake, you'll get better at it. <laughs> right? So if your daily practice is physical exercise and nutritional change, if your daily practice is thoughts and words that inspire me, if I think and speak about things, about what I'm going to do today or what I'm going to do this week, if I think and speak about it, if I think and speak about making that decision, I want to come back to my best. That's a choice. That's a decision. It's something that I make in my mind. It's something that I say with my, my voice. My words, yeah. I speak it over myself. I am the power. I am the creator. I'm the one that's going to create change in my life. I've got to make that decision and I've got to believe it in my mind. I've got to say it with my lips, with my voice. I've got to speak it over my life. I'm the power. I'm the one that's going to create change. I'm the one that has to do this. And here's how I'm going to do it. This is the action steps that I'm going to take. This is what I'm going to do. So that's making myself accountable to someone. So if, if you say to me, I'm going to fast 14 hours a day this week or 16 hours a day or 18 hours a day, you're making yourself accountable to me. And then I'm going to follow up with you. I'm going to check in with you at the end of the week. We're going to put you on the scale. We're going to follow up. We're going to talk about it. What happened? What didn't? What got in the way? Yeah. The mental yeah. aspect. I got to think about it. I got to make a decision. I got to choose. I got to take the action steps. Those are thoughts. Those are words. There's a physical aspect, exercise and nutrition. There's a mental aspect, thoughts and words and decisions and choices. And then there's an emotional aspect to this. It's physical, mental, and it's emotional. There's emotional bits in us that could be of lower frequency. There's, yeah. there's trauma in the body. We've had some problems, some illness, some sickness, some disease that's gotten into the body, some pain that's gotten into some of my body. I've had a trauma. I, I, I went through, maybe there's a divorce. Maybe there's a loss of a job. Maybe there's a killer virus around that's stressing you out. That's causing right. stress, emotional right. problems. 
sadness, sorrow, anger, frustration, resentment. These are all low frequency emotions, shadow emotions that can be stuck inside of your body and life, and they can create sickness, illness, pain, disease, problems, anger, mood problems, depression, loss of motivation. Yeah. All of this is, is linked to low frequency emotional stuff in your body. You got to heal right. your body emotionally. There's got to be an emotional healing aspect to your program. You've got to, you've got to manage yourself emotionally daily. It's got to be a practice. You got to practice movement. You got to practice foods. You got to practice thoughts and words, and you've got to have an emotional practice as well too. So what are you doing emotionally to heal and raise up your energy? Well, that's the meditation. That's the consciousness. That's sitting. That's the Qigong practice or the yoga practice, the quiet practice, the stillness, coming to the breath. That's the emotional aspect to it. You've got to spend some time every day sitting with your breath. I encourage my customers to do it first thing in the morning. At the end of the day, I encourage people to do it all day long. Just sit with your breath. That's how the yeah. body heals itself emotionally. Meditation is medication. Meditation is foundation. We <laughs> heal ourselves with our life force energy that's within us, with our loving power that's within us. We can heal ourselves. That's what heals. That's what's always healed us. Our own life force energy. We need to connect with it. We need to be conscious of it. We need to be in it. We need to be with it more often. Just taking a breath throughout your day can recenter you. Take 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. First thing in the morning as you wake, just before you go to bed, during your workout, any time during your day, be more conscious. That's what it's about. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do it usually, <laughs> and um, I'll tell you what I will, um, what change I will take for myself now for these seven days, okay? Awesome, awesome. You're self accountable, right? Yeah, of course. I don't want to go too extreme because of the work, you know? And um, so I will add sprouts, sprouts every day, okay? That's very easy for me because I have it ready in the store <laughs> and it's not expensive. So I will uh, commit to adding sprouts to my food. And anyway, as I told you, my food is, you know, really okay. Um, and I will, um, usually I do meditate every day uh, with the breath, with the Hara Center, but I will um, do five minutes before sleep and five minutes when I wake up in the morning before I go out of bed. Okay? Center so yourself there, right? Right. What are you going to do for your exercise? Um, okay. Usually, I um, either jog or I do, I jog for, um, let's say, something like 20 minutes. Uh, or I do um, the seven Tibetan, uh, the five Tibetan practice. Or I do several um, sun salutations. So I'll do either one of these. <laughs> awesome. And I'll be conscious. I'll be watching my breath while you're moving through your jog or your, your sal salutations or any postures or positions or flexibility. 
You're just being in it and watching your breath, being conscious of your natural breathing. That's your right. presence. Right. When you're right. breathing, you're coming into presence with your energy, your being with your right. inner self. Right, right. You just need to sit with that and be more present throughout our day. So you're going to do the exercise. What about a daily fast? How many hours a day would you commit to fasting for the next seven days? Um, let's see. I think I fast at least 14 hours a day. <laughs> awesome. So if you're, already, if you're already comfortably doing 14 hours, could you go to 16? Could you go to 18? Could you go to 20? Um, and say for the no. next five or six or days or four days or three days that you try I'll to... You, I'll tell you why. Because of the work. What I will commit to, and I did it this uh, weekend, that is on Saturday, I do only liquid. Awesome. So having Sunrise. a day, a 24 hour liquid only day. I like to say that no food Mondays, you try to go to just liquids for the day. If you could go to just That's liquids for a day or two or three or four, I don't know. But if you could go to liquids, this is awesome because the liquids don't need to be digested. So we're, we're, we're putting some sort of sustenance or energy inside of the body. It's live, raw foods, if you can go raw juices or smoothies. Yeah. It's still putting energy in the body. It's still putting enzymes yeah. and life inside of the body, but it's not yeah. causing the body to do work. Now my stomach doesn't have to digest I, I it. I did it. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. I drank uh, warm teas and nice. herbal tea. If you want to have um, soup, if you want. What? Soup, soup. If, you'd, if you'd like to have a soup. You um, a that's soup. Not, maybe in the evening, in the if evening. You, it, you could have a soup if you needed to, but try to stay with the liquids. If you could stay with the liquids for a day or two or three days of the week, that would push you a little deeper into your detox, right? Allow your body to heal yeah. a little bit more naturally. Oh. I'll do it in at Saturday. I can do it. Okay. I'll do it in Saturday. That's your day because you're off work. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> because I, it's important for me to be tuned in and um, to listen what is the right, the best thing to do. So I think that what we're doing is we're taking what any way I'm doing. And um, taking it uh, a step forward, making it deeper. Now, um, what I did want to ask about or suggest about the emotional cleaning is, you know, there is like a practice because I'm learning now a meditation teacher's course with a very special teacher. So there is a practice that when you find yourself emotionally being overrun, just to stop and to breathe. Be present with it. Come to, to presence, presence with it. And, and to recognize um, what story are you telling yourself? What thoughts and words are associated with that feeling? What yeah. is it that's coming up that's associated with it? What's triggering the feeling? What are the words and thoughts? You may not catch it the very first time. It may just feel uncomfortable, but emotional healing happens. As you start to pick up the frequency and vibration of the body and life, as you start exercising, eating raw foods, fasting, all of these things pick up your energy. When you start speaking in positive affirmations like I am and I'm going for this and I'm doing this and I'm thinking and speaking about things that inspire me. Um, all of these things pick up the frequency and vibration of my body. As I start to pick up the frequency and vibration of my body, the low frequency bits are going to come out. The shadow is going to come out. 
emotional stuff that's stuck physically in your body. It could be stuck and cause pain in your body. It could cause injury in your body. When you start to heal with live raw foods and emptiness, all things are going to heal. Physical pain is going to come up. Emotional stuff is going to come up. Yeah. Emotional stuff goes into weak spots. So if you have a sore knee or a sore shoulder or an injured back or an injured uh, elbow, emotional stuff's going to go into there. And so as that yeah. starts to heal, as the frequency starts to come up and you start to rise up in energy and vibration, that shadow energy is going to sneak out. It's going to start to come out. It's going to want to be released. Speak to it. Allow it. Invite it up. Invite it up. Ask it to come up. Speak to yourself. Become your own best friend. We need to learn how to give love to ourselves. We need to learn how to accept ourselves and what's happened to us, our traumas. We need to forgive ourselves and we need to forgive others. That's how we heal ourselves emotionally. That's how we allow this low frequency energy to leave the body and life. It has to be transmuted. It has to be lifted up. That low frequency right. energy has to be lifted up. You do it with physical right. exercise. You do it with high frequency foods. You do it with emptiness. You do it with high energy thoughts and words. And you do it with emotional practice, which is a practice of being present because our emotional body is always in the present. You got to be present with it. And you know the thing that makes us most present? It's the breath. Each moment is separated by a breath. Each moment is an in-breath and an out-breath. Each yeah. is an opportunity to connect to the infinite loving force that is always available to you, that's always running through you. It's omnipotent, it's omnipresent, and it's omniscient. It's within you, it's around you, and it's always here. What is that? Yeah. It's the breath. Yeah. It's the oxygen. Yeah. Yeah. Breathe it in. Be present with it. See it. Feel it. Breathe it. And sit with it. This is the sitting stillness practice. A daily practice. A daily physical practice. A daily mental practice. A daily emotional practice. That's what natural healing is. It's daily right, practice. Right, right. I see. Daily Amazing. practice. I would build a habit. Can you hear? What? I I would like to ask you if you have a um, already like a kind of list with um. Empowering sentences. Affirmations. Empowering sentences. Affirmations. Yes. Yeah, so, so I mean, if you, if you signed up, you should be getting, uh, you know, daily emails that contain video messages, that contain affirmations and positive thoughts, things that get your. Oh. That's what the daily emails are. They contain those messages. But yes, there's affirmation videos there. If you need some more, let me know. Send me an email. Reach out to me if you need some help. If you need an affirmations video, I can send you one. But it, you could also just Google on uh, YouTube, um, I am affirmations. The, the I am is the most powerful decision you can make within yourself. I am the power. I am the yeah. one that can create change in my life. I am the one yeah. that's responsible for what's gone on and I am the one that can change it. And here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this. I am gonna do this. I'm gonna do this exercise. I'm gonna do this nutrition. I'm gonna do this fasting. I'm gonna do this daily sitting meditation. This is the actions, the natural actions that I'm going to take today and later this week. 
these are all positive affirmations that I'm saying, decisions I'm making with the masculine mind. When I make a decision in the masculine mind, the feminine, the feline, the feelings respond with creating the feelings that are associated with the thoughts and words that you're saying. So if I start saying, I am the power, my feminine will feel that. What does that feel like? How do uh -huh. you feel to be the power? The feminine imagine is imagination. The creative energy, the right. creative force is feminine. The mother earth is feminine. Right. The, the thought seed is the light from father's son. That stimulates the mother earth to create. The, the seed is the I am affirmation that you make in the masculine mind. That's the thought seed, the masculine decision, the choice. I am going to take action. And then the feminine is the feeling. What does that feel like? Imagine it. I am love. Yeah. Imagine that love inside of you. Feel it. Be with it. Imagine it now. What does it feel you know, like to be loved? Is, what does it feel like to be in control of my health? Feel it. Oh, how does that feel? Imagine it. Feel it into your reality. That's natural healing. Right, right. And you're explaining it so beautifully how the masculine and the feminine forces um, react in and and um you know dominate the body it's beautiful it's a very clear there's, and there's beautiful. Only two forces here in physical reality 3d reality is two forces masculine and feminine all things there's no good and bad it's not a bad guy against a good guy okay it's it's a man against a woman and it's not one better than the other they're both identical opposites like they fit perfectly together, but not the same. They're stimulated by each other eternally, always, but never the same. They may be inspired by each other, but then they never meet. It's like, they're inspired by each other, but they never fully engage with each other. This is masculine and feminine. This is the reality. This is how it's always going to be. Husband and wife will never see eye to eye. And it's not mean yeah. that it's the wrong husband. It doesn't mean it's the wrong wife. It doesn't mean she's wrong and you're right and you're, he's right and she's wrong. It's not that way. It's not right and wrong. It's right. masculine right. and feminine. They're just right. different. And we have right. to accept those differences. People are different. That's just the way it is. Someone's going to have one opinion. Someone's going to have another opinion. You can fight about it. This is what the trauma is all about. This is the, the, the separation that creates the low frequency energy in the body because we're divided from something that happened, and we think it's something bad. It's not something bad. It's just the shadow. Listen, when the sunlight comes down and shines on the tree and creates a shadow, if you're in the shadow, is the shadow of the tree a bad thing? It's no. not. No. The shadow if you sit there long enough, the sun will move over top and the shadow will be gone. Right. So, so right. In, in time, right. the shadow will pass. It'll pass. And, and if you sit there, the, the shadow, if you, if you reflect on it, the shadow is really just the light. The light that's obstructed by the object. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. shadow oh. is just an obstruction. It's just a misplaced right. thought. It's a misperception. Right. You can change your position and come out of the shadow. Right. 
You can heal the shadow energy. You can lift up your shadow energy and bring it back to the light. You can heal all things. The light, the love of our universe is within you. You can change and heal anything within you that you like, that you want to. It's, it's all frequency and vibration. You can lift up your frequency and vibration with high frequency movement, with high frequency food, with fasting, with intention, thoughts and words. And with daily sitting practice, you can connect to the lower frequency bits and lift them up too. You can intend it. You can practice it. You can affirm it. You can speak it over your life. You can make yourself accountable by telling someone what you're going to do and following through with it. And then that person can follow up with you. That's what a coach does. A coach holds you accountable. A coach helps you to come forward by giving you conversations, by giving you new information, by stimulating your thought. That's right. how we inspire right. you, right. bring you back into your spirit, into your power, into the power that's within you. Right, of course, of course. I, I, so, um, actually, from now every day, um, I will receive an email. You do. Right? If, if you're signed up in the program, if you signed up for the seven day detox, if you registered, I'm not sure if you registered, yeah. I believe. Yeah. If you registered in the program, you should be getting daily emails from me. If you don't see daily emails, check your spam folder. It could be stuck okay. in your spam, right? But I, but my emails go out every day and they contain, you know, the same message that I'm sharing to you right now to give you reminders. If you have any okay. questions or problems, you just reach out to me. I'm here to support you. And if you need to join in for exercise, we could arrange a workout or you just do your workouts on your own, your jogging or your yoga, right? Okay. I, I think it could be nice. Um, we'll see if it's possible in a Saturday to do uh, once an exercise. If you want to join together. in for a workout with me, I've got workouts going on all day long. I've got my schedule online. If you want to see my schedule, it's on my website. If you want to Join in for a session. I can let you know when my sessions are available. You can tune in. You can have your. Okay. You can do it from your own home with some dumbbells, with some body weight movements. You can imitate what we're doing here, and you can work out along with me. Oh. So it's exercise, it's nutrition, it's mindset, yeah. it's thoughts and words, and it's emotional practice. That's what natural healing is all about. That's what the seven day detox is all about. It's an introduction to natural healing. Great, great. And so, I'm your coach, okay. I'm your support. If you need any help, you just reach out to me. If you have a question, you reach out to me. I'm here to support you. Great. So um, when we finish the conversation, I'd be happy if you could write down the name of your website. I'll give and you my we website are... for sure. What? I'll give you my website for sure, yes. And I'll check my highendfitness.com. I'll, I'll connect it with this. I'll, I'll send you a copy of this video so that you can look it over and listen to it again. Right. Right. So right. when we do our conversation or seven day detox, you'll get a copy of that so that you have it. Everyone that does my seven day detox will get a copy of our coaching call so that they have all of the information that they need to make the change in their life. And if you need any help, you can reach out to me. I will. Perfect. Um, so I'll, I'll check my email box. Yes. Okay. And I, I would love to have, um, say, if you could send to my messenger, like if you have a separate video with affirmations, I feel this is something that's very important for okay. me. Okay. I will send you an affirmations video. Yes. Yes. Yes, please. So those, yes. Are, those do go out in the daily emails, but for sure, I will include with, with, uh, with the copy of this uh, conversation, I'll include my favorite affirmations video. 
Thank you. Thank you. That's really important for me. Like it will be two different, two different links, right? Awesome. Two different links. Yeah. Thank you. And um, our conversation is really, really inspiring. I would like um, in the near future, okay, um, to set up like, you know, when you do a live and the screen is divided into two, when you do a live Facebook. So I would like to do something uh, like this with you for the people in Israel, okay? Oh, I would like, love to do that for the people in Israel. Right. Yes, I would love right. to set up a coaching right. call like that. Right. You will speak in um, English. I will translate you. Before that, we'll speak more or less, so we'll have the structure, so I will know what questions to ask, and then I will translate you, and we'll like make it, you know, very focused on the different topics that you made. So if you like, and we could do a seven-day detox over there in Israel with your friends or anyone that you'd like to introduce the program to. Right, right. So we'll set the date for that. Awesome.